In today's video, we're delving into the latest development in the case of the Idaho student murders, where a judge has ruled that the defense can survey potential jurors. Let's explore the reactions and opinions expressed in letters to the editor regarding this decision. The news that the defense in the Idaho student murders case has been granted permission to survey potential jurors has sparked a range of responses from readers, as reflected in letters to the editor. Many express curiosity and concern about the implications of this ruling on the outcome of the trial. Some letters express support for the decision, arguing that allowing the defense to survey potential jurors is essential to ensuring a fair and impartial trial. Readers emphasize the importance of gathering information about potential biases and preconceptions that could impact the jury's ability to reach a fair verdict. Others, however, voice skepticism and apprehension about the defense's motives for conducting juror surveys. These letters raise concerns about the potential for manipulation or bias in the survey process, suggesting that it could be used as a tactic to stack the jury in favor of the defendant. Amidst the debate over the judge's ruling, there is also a sense of frustration and sadness among readers who have followed the tragic case closely. Many express sympathy for the victims and their families, lamenting the lengthy legal proceedings and the toll it has taken on all those involved. As the letters to the editor continue to pour in, it's clear that the decision to allow the defense to survey potential jurors has struck a nerve with readers, prompting them to reflect on broader issues of justice, fairness, and the role of the legal system in society. Some letters call for greater transparency and oversight in the jury selection process, while others advocate for reforms to address systemic inequalities and biases. In the midst of the ongoing debate, one thing is certain, the case of the Idaho student murders has captivated the nation and sparked important conversations about the administration of justice and the rights of both victims and defendants. As the trial moves forward, readers will be watching closely to see how the jury selection process unfolds and what impact it may have on the outcome of the case. In conclusion, the letters to the editor provide valuable insights into the public's reaction to the judge's ruling allowing the defense to survey potential jurors in the Idaho student murders case. As the trial progresses, readers will continue to grapple with complex questions about fairness, impartiality, and accountability in the legal system.